This is an all signs bonus reading. Let's see. We will start with fire, earth, air, and then water. And in this one, we will ask, what spirit wants you to know? We'll start with Sagittarius. Or what spirit wants to tell you? Sagittarius. What does spirit want to tell Sagittarius? See, before, like, I, I heard you will marry someone. The moment I said, what does spirit want to tell you? And the first card came out, which is the four of wands. I heard you will marry someone. And then the following card is two of cups. Spirit is telling me, don't doubt your intuition. Sorry. I heard it, but I didn't want to say it because it was too soon to say it. But Sagittarius, what the fuck? <laughs> you will marry someone. Okay. Someone that is the equal. Someone that is Oh, you will not like what I, you will not like what I will have to say, Sagittarius. It's someone that you have cut out of your life. Yeah. Someone that you've cut out of your life from your past, you will marry. I mean, don't shoot the messenger. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is like confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. The lovers. So you have the four of wands, the two of cups, the lovers. This is like a lot of cards to indicate that there is a strong connection with someone. And I'm hearing... It's not an ex. So it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be someone that is from your past that you've disconnected from or you cut out of your life for whatever reason that you will marry. Is this a proposal? Okay, so it's not a proposal per se. It is someone that you will get in a connection with, you will get in a relationship with, and then the conversation of uh, let's get married comes up. So it's not someone from your past coming into your life and saying, such stairs, let's get married. It's not going to be like that. It's not, it's not going to be like someone coming in your life to marry you. It's almost like there is no intention of marriage until later. But this is like showing you the end result of it. So there will be someone here that you've disconnected from that will be coming in your life, which you will get in a relationship with. And you will end up marrying them. Yeah. It's someone that misses you a lot. And they will come in your life to prove that they are worthy of you and worthy of being in your life. That's what I have for you. If you don't want it, don't claim it, of course. But, I mean, you have the Ten of Pentacles as well. So this will be a successful marriage. I mean, that caught me off guard myself. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to say it from the beginning, but it kept on coming out. Kept on insisting to come out as well. All right. Let's 
Leo. What does spirit want to tell Leo? What does spirit want to tell Leo? You will get things under control. There will be justice that will play in your favor. Do not worry. The outcome will work in your favor. The outcome will be so much better than you have anticipated. You might feel trapped. You might feel like there is no way out, but there is. You will be surprised with that outcome, but you will be forever grateful for it too. Look at that. I feel like your faith will be so... Your faith, your faith will be boosted because of the outcome that is coming your way from a situation that you were worried sick about, which will end up resulting in your favor. So whatever this is, Leo, you have good news coming. And those, that good news is something that you didn't expect. So spirit is telling you, worry not. It will work in your favor. You'll be very happy with this, actually. You'll be very happy with this. Okay. So stop worrying. Basically, the main message here. Okay. Aries. What does spirit want to tell Aries? What does spirit want to tell Aries? There will be a reunion with someone that you thought the connection is over with. Okay, so whatever this connection is, it's not gone to waste. There will be a reunion between the two of you. And the reunion will result in the lovers. Wow, the, this is like a, a resurrection of a past connection. Wow, Ten of Cups. A resurrection of a past connection will be on the table here for you, Leo. Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries. So there is a reunion of some kind. And this reunion will not only result in just like a relationship, this will go to a higher commitment. So all the time that you think was wasted on this connection, it is actually not. You will come together with this person again and it will be better than ever. Interesting. What's with the reunions, eh? It's not Mercury in retro, right? Mercury is not in retro. But we do have the eclipse in Scorpio. So this is like secrets coming out. The depth of connection coming out, which makes sense, actually. Yeah. All right, so we've done fire. We'll move on to earth. Virgo. What does spirit want to tell Virgo? What does spirit want to tell Virgo? Slowly wins the race. That's what I'm hearing. 
Okay, so I see there is a transition happening in your energy, which you're not very uh, optimistic about. You are afraid of this transition. But spirit is like, worry not. Worry not, child. This will work for the betterment of you. So I see here that spirit wants you to take it easy, take it slow, because there is no rush. Because wherever you're going will be worthwhile. And also keep things private. Keep things private. There will be a time and place for your limelight. But for now, keep things private. While you are on this journey towards whatever outcome, I feel like there is something that you're moving towards. There is a transition that you're moving towards. During the journey towards it, you need to be private. You need to not share more than you need to with others until you get to the destination and your action, your lifestyle will speak for itself. So there is a need for you to keep things private and to yourself until you have things figured out, until you have the clarity where you stand. Because right now people can confuse you because you are confused yourself. You see what I mean? So keep things private. Have faith that wherever you're going will take you to the destination that you desire. But it's important to keep things private until then because there could be people or your surroundings could confuse your path. I'm a little bit congested. I'm not sure if it's the incense. It's called Unicorn's Grace. All right, let's do Taurus. 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 What does spirit want to tell Taurus? What does spirit want to tell Taurus? I'm hearing this also will pass. You could be feeling down or going through something and spirit is saying this too will pass. This too will pass. This too will pass. Ride the waves. Ride the waves. Stop resisting. Trust that whatever that will happen to you will happen for you, not to you. There is like your faith being tested. I see that you could be in a turbulent time or things could feel chaotic. Let go. Stop resisting. Stop trying to make things go your way to the T. Be flexible. And that is a tough thing for a Taurus because you are a fixed sign. So I want you to try your best to be flexible as much as you can during this time because there, this is a test of your faith. This is to see how well you do with chaotic energy. You will be all right. You have justice here. You will be taken care of. But you kind of need to have faith in order for you to see peace within the chaos that you are in. This is a test. And maybe me telling you it's a test will make things easier to allow yourself to shift without much resistance. Yes, indeed. The magician. This will work in your favor. Just have faith that it will. <sighs> believing is seeing and not seeing is believing. In this case for you, this is what you need to be focusing on. Your belief. Okay. 
Capricorn. What does spirit want to tell Capricorn? Get in touch with your higher self. It's trying to tell you something. It's trying to show you the way. It's trying to tell you something or reveal something that you are not seeing because of your ego. There are people around you that spirit wants you to work with because these people will have a good impact on your life and, on, uh, and for your future. You not having trust or you worrying about who to trust should be at the back burner of your priorities. Your priorities should be to connect with your higher self and to connect with other people. To have faith that there is hope in humanity after all. Because where you're going, you cannot be alone. Where you're going, it will require from you to be a team player. And maybe this is a hard thing to say for a Capricorn because you like to be in control. But Spirit wants you to be open to be a team player because that will have a great impact and a positive impact on where you're going that is in your future. Yes, Eight of Wands. This is you allowing yourself to be open and receptive and communicative, where, communi communicative, where you share things with others, no matter what differences you might have, you can still benefit each other. This is almost like um, trying to push you to um, be social or be open to be social and trust that there are people that are worthy of your company or worthy of your time. Okay. These are the air signs done. Let's do air signs. Air signs, Aquarius. What does spirit want to tell Aquarius? What does spirit want to tell Aquarius? There is someone that is missing you. There is someone that wants you. There is someone that wants to be with you. Oh, we have the Three of Swords. This person is heartbroken without you in their, in their life. This person is heartbroken and this person feels like they need you, kind of. Like this is a person that loves you. Wow. This is a person that, and then here comes the Ace of Cups. This is a person that loves you, wants to be with you, that wants to communicate to you. But they, I feel like they don't feel there is a way. Like, oh my God, like every word I'm saying, there is the card. They don't feel like there is a way. Two of swords here. They don't know which way to take or which way to go or which decision to make. This person has a lot of confusion in their energy. And as I say that, that there is the seven of cups. Wow. The thing is, Aquarius, this person has nothing but love for you. It's like they want you, they need you, they, they, they fantasize about you. And it's not just sexual, because there is that, but there is also um, 
the fantasy of being together. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you could know who this person is. You could even think about them at random times. This is them communicating to you telepathically. So, Spirit, for some reason, wants you to know about this person. Spirit wants to confirm to you that this person ha is having sleepless nights thinking about you. Wow. You know each other from a past life. The Hierophant. This person is single if you are wandering. And they think that you are their wish fulfillment. So this person is, is staying single, being single for you. For you. They want no one but you. This is like, this is the type of person that will be loyal for someone without the other person knowing that they even exist. It feels like that. Spirit really wants you to know that this person really wants you. And I feel like you know this person, but you don't, you have no idea what they're going through or feeling about you. Okay then. Gemini, what does spirit want to tell Gemini? What does spirit want to tell Gemini? The ball is in your court, Gemini. If you want something to happen, it is up to you to make it happen. It is up to you to make it happen. You have the power and the skill to make it happen. This could be some type of um, this could be some type of decision that will have a great impact on your life. But you seem to think that maybe you will wait for a sign. No, you are the sign. You know what I mean? Like Spirit is telling you, no, 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 it's not up to us, it's up to you. Do you want this? Do you want this bad enough to make a decision or a move towards? And that's why the ball is in your court. Because you are the one that has to make that decision. You are the one that has to make that decision towards whatever this is. Because this, I see that there is passion towards this. And there is also um, feelings or love for this. This opportunity is yours if you are willing to take it. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's up to you. Do you want this? Because if you do, it's yours. But you are, for some reason, thinking, oh, if it's mine, it will come to me. No, if it's, in this case, you are the one that will have to pursue it. Not you waiting to be pursued, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? This opportunity will not knock on your door, but this opportunity requires from you to knock on their door. You know? You seem to be confused about who is what. And this is why Spirit wants you to know that you are the one that will have to initiate, pursue, move towards. Because it is for you to take, but there is also an option for you not to take. You just have to know if you really want it or not. Whether this is a person or an opportunity in general as a career or a move or something of that sort. Only you know. All right. <clears throat> 
Libra. What does spirit want to tell Libra? The reason why you're feeling burnt out or feeling overwhelmed is because you have made too many promises or too many commitments than you can handle. Spirit wants you to acknowledge that because the moment you admit that you've taken more than you can handle is the first step towards prioritizing your life. This burnout that you're feeling is, is kind of like, I feel like you've made promises, you made commitment towards something, people, things to prove to someone or other people that you can handle it but you're you're overusing yourself and your energy and spirit wants you to overcome the the need for the validation of others because the need for that is external it's it's the ego you don't need it you need to put your ego on the side otherwise you will reach a burnout if you haven't reached that already and that will have a negative impact on your life there needs to be some type of um, admission. You need to admit that you have, you've gone wrong trying to take more than you can handle. Because you are the only one that could untrap yourself from this by um, kind of reviewing your priorities and seeing where you are needed most or where you want to be most instead of scattering your energy left and right just to prove to nobodies that you are worthy you don't need to prove anything to anyone what you need to prove to yourself is that you can admit that you've made a mistake and then correcting it or moving towards correcting it you see what i mean and that's what spirit wants you to know. Okay. And then we've got water signs. I don't know why I did that, but oh well, oh well. Oh well, oh well. Pisces. What does spirit want to tell Pisces? <sighs> there is something that you really thought will make you happy has the exact opposite effect on you. Like, you thought something or someone will make you happy, but they're making you miserable. They actually have negative impact on you and, and your life in general. <sighs> Spirit wants you to evaluate that and that impact on you. So what I mean by that, Spirit wants you to really look at this from a different perspective because you it seems like you you thought this will make you happy but realized that it's not so spirit is like cut your losses do some damage control and reevaluate your choices because you will be happier when you do this is the sun card. Okay. You need to remember who you are. There is a new beginning here, but you need to kind of uh, reevaluate your choices or your decisions that took you to the point where you are and then allow yourself to have a new beginning. So don't go for a new beginning until you have realized 
how you ended up in the situation that you would want to avoid in your future. which makes total sense. Ooh, Scorpio. What does spirit want to tell Scorpio? What does spirit want to tell Scorpio? do death readings but here comes here, here comes that wait let me let me pull more cards because I feel like it's not death but it's almost like a rebirth okay What? You need to clean your house. And the reason why I say that is because you have a demonic entity that is bringing you shit. So what I see, I feel like you need to cleanse your house, yourself, um, get rid of things that you have accumulated from other people because there could be someone that is doing spell work on you. And even me doing you this reading, it kind of confused me because there seems to be some type of entity that's trying to uh, get you off path or to try to confuse you so that you don't do things right. So that you end up at the wrong corners in life. And what you need to do, Scorpio, is clean your energy, clean your things, clean your house, clean your space. Um, do it with um, water that you've prayed on. Um, do it with... Um, you know, sage your place, blah, blah, blah. It's, these kind of things will help clear out the energy or the entity that's uh, being sent from someone to you, to confuse you, to make you do things differently. Because when you do things differently, influenced by an outside force, you end up going on the right going on the wrong path instead of the right you know what i mean so you end up making decisions towards the things that keep you off path instead of the things that will take you or to keep you on your path does that make sense I do not claim any energy from this reading. <laughs> so, Scorpio, there is there is some type of thing that's being done against you or in your name that you need to be aware of. And Spirit wants you to clean your house because it's actually blocking you from um, going towards the things that are meant to be in your life or the things being blocked from coming towards you. Okay. Yeah. I'm hearing raise your vibration. Raise your vibration. That's one of the ways, actually. That is actually my favorite way of keeping um, low vibration, spell working fucking witches away from me. So. I would advise you to raise your vibration because low vibration cannot reach high vibration. Simple. 
you will be protected by your own aura but also by the um, spirits that will protect the high vibration from low vibration you see what i mean now cancer what does spirit want to tell cancer Spirit wants you to focus your energy, Cancer. By that I mean you are being distracted. And that distraction is fine, but you're overdoing it. What I mean by that, you need to uh, refocus your energy towards the thing that you're meant to be doing, whatever that is for you. Because you seem to be overindulging or doing things that are distracting you from doing what you're supposed to do. And this is like spirit trying to refocus your energy by telling you, focus, you've got things to do, come on. Playtime is over, you need to get back on track. You need to do this. And maybe you're doing this deliberately or maybe subconsciously, but nonetheless, spirit wants you to pay attention and refocus your energy because there is distraction in your energy here. This is the first time that I've had uh, a message saying that you need to think before you do. So Spirit wants you to deeply think about the choices that you're making and if those choices are aligning you with your purpose or going against you and your purpose. Yeah, you're seeming to be, like you are being easily distracted at this time and spirit wants you to pay attention. Okay. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you soon.